What's up YouTube? Today I'll show you how to remove the background, the annoying background, out of your picture. Let's say you want this cute little donkey or you want to take the background out of your own picture. Uh, what you would do is um, just go to Photoshop, file, open, open. You could use GIMP some people like GIMP better, but Photoshop is more professional. It's easier. Um, there, I want to use this photo. Yep, just want to remove this annoying background. Oh, yeah. So yeah, Control A, delete it. Boom. <laughs> I deleted myself. Okay. So uh, what you want to do is uh, open. Go over there. Uh, what the? Is it open, you little son of a? Okay. So what you want to do is get kinky with it, okay? Uh, don't save. File, open. There's a selection tool, the lasso tool. You could use these tools. Also the pen tool, the blur tool, like blur stuff up or whatever. But screw that BS. So uh, I'm going to use the quick selection tool. Uh, you're gonna just select yourself, just keep clicking, click, click, boom. Just drag it, it's easy. And it's professional, it automatically guesses where it is, unless you're using a really low quality camera. Um, this is like a medium quality camera, it's the, from the iMac. Um, it's not the best, but it's decent. There. Yeah. On Windows, you would hit um, Shift and click to remove a selection. And uh, let's say you selected too much like that. Uh, you would hit uh, Shift and then click again to remove the select. No, uh, Shift would be for Windows. Uh, option is for Mac. So you would hit Option and it would, de it would decrease the selection. And... Uh, so yeah, Windows is Shift, uh, Mac operating system is Option, which I'm hitting right now, Option. There, uh, you can see most of it is done. I could go into more detail and uh, like get a better selection, but I'll just go out the lazy way. Uh, there, you see it has like a rough edge. You would smoothen that out a little. And if you want it a little more smoothed out, boom. That's pretty nice. Uh, you could feather it, but uh, that eats away at the picture. Like that if you want to be shiny or whatever. But I'll just leave the feather away. And contrast messes with the color a little bit. You don't need to mess around with the contrast. Just smoothen out it a little bit. So I did smooth it out a little bit. and Looks good. Um, file. Oh yeah. Before you do that, I hit refine edge, which I did. Um, you're gonna go output to new document. I'll uh, just ah uh, fuck. See, I hit refine edge right over here. There. Um, as I said, you're gonna smooth it out a little bit right over here, so it doesn't look too jagged. There it is. What the? There, I guess it looks good now. Uh, as I said, you can go to new documents. Okay, it outputs to a new document. There's transparency. You can put uh, whatever background you want to put on it. Or um, let's see. Go over here. Take that donkey. Put it right over there. Or, you know, put some cool pictures, you know put any background just drag and drop it like I put that donkey over there but screw that BS I ain't putting no donkey over there uh, delete that on um, yeah so I want transparency so I'll just leave it white um, you can hit save as if you save it as a Photoshop document a dot PSD uh, you can edit it at any time without a change in quality. The quality will always stay the same. Uh, but if you already do change it into a 
Bitsmap or DICOM, Photoshop EAPS, IFF, a JPEG, JPEG 2000, a Pixar or a Portable Network Graphics, also known as Ping. Uh, Ping is pretty nice. If you ever want to pop up the or blow up the picture to 2,000 pixels or whatever, um, but yeah, so there's all these other formats. I like Photoshop, JPEG, and portable network graphics. Um, I'll be using, um, let's see, I'll use a PNG right now. Um, you're going to save it on desktop or wherever you want to save it. Um, cheesy monkey coolness. I don't know. Ah, fuck that. Let's see what I want to write. Um, okay. Isolated pick. Or whatever you want to save it as. Um, put it on the desktop. Save. Okay. Uh, since I saved as a PNG or portable network graphics, um, I can't edit it as good again but still it's good it's not the original see it's already you know boom boom see isolated pretty nice yeah well that's all about the isolation and it's pretty good lights